Hello everyone and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly share the video. So, so far it's actually a fantastic week for all Extreme Trader followers. Regardless if you are a paid member or a free member, you have surely made profits with us. And now let me just now follow up with these signals which I have sent last Saturday right now. So for the euro USD, my friends, as we can see, uh, the euro USD hasn't been triggered. Uh, this was, of course, the sell uh, signal which we have sent last Saturday to sell from 1.69. However, uh, it's actually wrong. This should be sell from 1.069. That's wrong. Anyway, uh, it hasn't been triggered, and as you can see, the euro USD has reversed twice today from the same level right here before reaching our sell area. So now what's next with the euro USD? In my opinion, the pair is still going to continue the fall. Um, this is of course the current price action of the candle of Monday. And so far it shows actually a pressure from the buyers and the sellers. However, uh, it seems to me like the market is indeed respecting that level right here of a resistance. And most likely that level of a resistance is gonna be respected completely all the way till the market reach our original take profit level which means we have to continue selling the euro USD. The question is where exactly? Well, let's make a long story short. Right here exactly, we do have right here, of course, a real level of a resistance, as we can see, and one fake breakout from that level. And right here, we are having attempt of a resistance number one and attempt of a resistance number two, means that level of a resistance respected the original real level of a resistance. So therefore, if I'm not mistaken, and hopefully I'm not, we can sell the euro USD exactly from the same level of that resistance, and hopefully it will continue the fall toward our original take profit level. Another way to confirm this entry is, of course, by using the uh, trend lines, and as we can see right here, exactly just like that, uh, even like that if you wish to, just like this. I mean, no matter how you draw it, it will always be correct. Um, a support trend line, support trend line, support trend line, a bearish breakout candle. It has become here a resistance trend line number one, a resistance trend line number two. So therefore, if the euro USD will continue the rise toward our level, it will actually trigger the third attempt of a resistance trend line. And afterward, it will continue the fall. Therefore, I would highly recommend to adjust this signal to sell the euro USD for, uh, at 1.066, uh, double six. oops, double six, just like this. And of course, we'll uh, move our save zone to be just right there and edit the line just like that. So therefore, our new signal for the euro USD will be ranging for about uh, 40 pips against 103 pips of profit. Let's now move to the pound USD. All right, so pound USD, my friends, was really one perfect, perfect and fantastic signal. I hope you guys have taken it and made profits with it. As we can see, it has been triggered. Today's 22nd of April, uh, sell at 1.2338. And look at that, it was, with, it was with almost zero drawdown. And it hit already our take profit level, making exactly 83 pips. Congratulations for those who have taken it. Again, if you took this signal, Please share with us in the comments and hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But now what's next with the pound USD? That's the big question. Let me first of all delete the old signal. Now, from the first point of, the, point of view right here, if we go to the daily chart, uh, we can see clearly that we had right here, of course, a real level of a support exactly at 1.2311. This was, of course, a real level of a support. Now, if we look at the bigger picture, we're having here interesting structure because right here we have a real level of a support and then one fake breakout. And again, the same level of a real support has indeed been respected, but the bearish momentum is very strong. And the pound USD has just actually made here a bearish breakout from that support trend line right here, as we can see at this level and this one as well. And this was actually a very strong bearish breakout level. And this level of a resistance, which where actually we have originally sold uh, the market today has already been respected, which means there is a lot of pressure from these sellers to continue pushing the market to continue the fall. Therefore, I believe that eventually the final target for the pound USD will be right here, the nearest level of a key support at 1.2, uh, 1, uh, 1 so now the question is where exactly we can continue shorting this pair. Let's now move to the one hour time frame. Now, on the one hour time frame, 
we can see here clearly that we had, of course, a real level of a support as well. Uh, sorry, a support trend line that has indeed been respected, that level of a support trend line. Now, the pound USD seems like it's going to continue to rise to respect the same level of a real resist, uh, a broken support trend line to create, of course, a new resistance trend line. Now, we just need to look at the left side to confirm if there was any level of a strong real level of a resistance. So let's just scroll to the left side and let's see exactly. Let me delete this one. Uh, let's see if there was actually any strong level of a resistance in the past right here exactly and sure enough right here of course the same level at 1.235 was indeed a real level of a support and also right here of, a, of course a support and right here also a resistance that means that this level most likely won't be ignored and even if it does we have right here currently a strong level of a resistance that also most likely going to be respected so all in all bond usd should be good to be shorted exactly right here by moving back to the one hour time frame we will sell the pound UST exactly and precisely from this level of a previous support, which is the nearest one to the bearish breakout candle, which means we have to wait for the pair to rise to another 30 pips before we can start shorting it at 1.235. Now for the take profit level, it will be placed actually right here at the lowest level of a real support right there exactly as we can see this tail which tells us that this is of course a real level of a support at 1.24 expecting about 117 pips profit from this signal and a safe zone that shouldn't actually range higher than the previous level of a key support at 1.240 ranging for about 50 pips i would say against 118 pips of profit let's now move to the aud usd which was also another good signal as you can see my friends it has been activated today exactly uh, at one uh, sorry at one, uh, 0 0.645 it went in about total of 32 pips of profit currently 22 pips now what's next with this pair actually not much we will just continue selling it from the same level so therefore AUD USD signal just remains the same let's now move to the USD CAD which is also a winner and as you can see it has been indeed activated guys look at that that is a, a zero drawdown i mean this is amazing it has reversed exactly from 1.371 no 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 i will not accept that i am demanding a lot of likes a lot of comments and actually i demand a lot of subscription to the channel we deserve much more than that this was really another fantastic signal so hopefully of course it will continue going this way since i'm bluffing too much um, we just hope it will continue this way. And again, USD CAD signal, my friends, just remains also the same. Let's now move to the pound GPY. Now, it's important to tell you something that many of you will think that the pound GPY signal has failed. In fact, it didn't. Because the market, my friends, today has indeed reached our take profit level and then went back to the entry. Now, it's important to understand that once we send a signal if it reached the take profit level before reaching the entry, that instantly disqualify it. Which means since the pound GPY has already reached our take profit level, instantly disqualify the signal and erase it. Don't use it. You should not actually buy the pound GPY anymore. Why? Because we set a take profit level here for a reason. We said that there was here a level of a resistance that the market will surely continue the rise till it reaches it. And therefore, we decided to sell, sorry, to buy the pound UST, sorry, the pound GPY until it reached this level of the resistance, which is our take profit level. And after that, the signal will be a successful one. But it has already reached the take profit level without being triggered. Meaning this level of resistance has already been retested. Meaning it has, our target has already been reached. Therefore, you should never re-buy the pound GPY again after reversing from the take profit level. So therefore, uh, pound GPY signal um, hit the take profit level without being triggered. But now, what's next with this pair? That's a big question. Well, actually, we will have to ignore it for the meantime. Because so far, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. Um, we're having actually an ugly market on the pound GPY, lots of ups and downs. I mean, that is just a market that you want to avoid. Until the pound GPY makes any breakout from this structure right here, we cannot decide what to do with it next. Um, it was actually okay before this uh, uh, price action appears. Uh, lots of long tails, which actually cannot tell us what's, what's happening here. 
um, it was actually visible for, for the eye uh, that level of a real support is going to be respected. But now it already happened. So now what's next? I'm not really sure. I cannot just send you a random signal. I will be honest with everyone. I'm not bluffing at all. I'm not pretending to be like a master in uh, the market for um, random signals. No way. Until I am having any sure, any secure and sure uh, entry, I will not post it. Maybe I will post it later in the deal of the day video. But for the meantime, we cannot say anything about the pound GPY. I just need more assurance. I need to know what will gonna happen with this level of a support. If the market will actually reverse from it or make a bearish breakout, we are not sure yet. Anyway, let's now skip it and move to the USDCHF, which actually has been a winner so far. I believe, no, it hasn't been a winner yet. Um, it reversed just like six pips far away from the entry and so far running in 29 pips. Now again, um, it's fair to say that the signal has been activated. Why? Look at that. This is the reason I'm actually changing my signals to be only three digits because I sent a, sign I sent a signal to buy the USCCHF at 0 0.908. Now look at that. The market has reversed also as 0 0.9088, which means it has act been activated. Now, I know many of you will not agree with that. They will not uh, like it. They will say Salah cannot take the credit of the signal. But again, guys, we, we, we mentioned the signal with the three digits here for a reason. If the market actually entered the zone of our entry, then you should enter it. As long as it has reached 0 0.908, uh, I'm going to take the credit of the signal anyway. It's running so far in about 30 bips of profit. Now, what's next with the UCCHF? We will have to adjust our signal to be right here right now now this is of course the new level of a strong key level of a support which is gonna most likely be respected it has already been respected here for once at a support number one so therefore if the eocc hf is gonna make any pullbacks or, cor or corrections it will continue the fall till it reach this reach the same level of the support to create of course the second attempt of the support therefore let's wait for the pair to fall to another um, almost at 20 pips before we can start buying it again. Of course, keeping the same safe zone, just like that. And we will edit the entry to be at 0 0.909 this time. So there goes our new signal. And of course, the take profit level is going to remain just the same uh, for about 71 pips against uh, 37 pips of a safe zone. And that's everything, my friends, for the midweek analysis. Of course, for the gold, as you can see, it has already reached the take profit level without being triggered, unfortunately. Um, but still, it was really a good signal. Uh, some of the comments said that it was risky take profit level. I agree with them, of course. But thankfully, my analysis has paid off and the gold has continued the fall. Now, of course, uh, for the gold, I will follow up later with another follow up video uh, on the gold only, which will be released by tomorrow morning. So until then, I hope uh, this is informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.